welcome back to my channel. It's Overly here and today I'm going to be kicking off with the Sims 4 Legacy Challenge and this is my first Sims 4 series. Woo! So I've gone ahead and I've made my Sim who is going to be doing this challenge with us. I have previously done the legacy challenge in my own free time, not quite following the rules as I should, um, but I just wanted to get a feel for the challenge before actually doing it. But this time I'm going to be following the rules 100%. I might need your guys' help, so feel free to comment down below what you want to happen in this challenge um, and rules and things like that because I'm bound to slip up here and there, but yeah. So here we have Everly Strong. Um, I've <laughs> I randomised her first name and last name because I am no good with names, guys. Um, so we're going to be doing the Strong Legacy. Um, we'll kick off with her traits. So she is a freelance botanist, um, which gives her the collector trait. My storyline for this sim is that she loves to do gardening. She loves being outdoors, um, fishing, collecting gardening. I wanted to have her own garden um, rather than have a actual career. So yeah. I also gave her the foodie traits because who doesn't love food? The loves outdoors trait to go with her gardening aspirations and the self-assured trait. So a little bit of a backstory for Everly, um, she is very confident in herself, she will never be seen looking, let's just say, ratchet, she will always look her best in any situation, um, yeah, she really cares about her appearance 100,000%. I'd say she comes from a modest family, but she left because she wanted a fresh start. She wanted to make a life for herself and she didn't want the help of her parents. Um, her parents weren't necessarily rich, but they weren't poor either. Uh, they offered to buy her a apartment in the city, but Everly... As I said, she's very self-assured and she didn't she didn't want that. She wanted to make a name for herself and do it on her own. In terms of family, Everly doesn't necessarily want a family right now. She doesn't really have time for boys. Uh, she just wants to focus on her goals. So we'll see where that goes. Maybe she'll change her mind. So let's get into her outfits. So she looks like this. I think she turned out absolutely beautiful. Definitely so cute. Um, she's got bright blue eyes. Oh my god, I wish I looked like this. Um, yeah, so this is her everyday outfit. I gave her a little plum bob necklace. And yeah, I think she's super cute. So moving on to her formal wear, this is her formal, we just went with a base game dress. I love this dress actually, I think it's really flattering. Um, I would look like a sack of potatoes if I wore this in real life, but she is rocking it. I gave her some white eyeshadow, which just makes her eyes pop, a base game necklace and some Kaz, Kaz custom content shoes. <laughs> but yeah, that's. I think she looks pretty cute. Moving on to her athletic wear, this is her athletic wear. Again, I think this is cute. I'd quite like her to get into yoga. Again, she loves the outdoors, so yoga would probably be a really good hobby for her. So moving on to her sleepwear, she's got her hair tied back like this, and she's just got the base game pyjamas on. Again, I love these pyjamas. They match her eyes. She looks super cute. This is her party wear. She's ready to party. Um, I wanted like a bright yellow eyeshadow, which I didn't have, and I couldn't be bothered to go and search for one online. So she's got a little bit of orange eyeshadow. Um, and yeah, I think this is from uh, City Living. I'm not sure. Correct me on that one. But again, I think she's super cute. I love it. I love it so much. Onto her swimwear. This is her swimwear. She's got some very rosy cheeks um, because of the heat. I imagine it's a little bit of sunburn because um, she's not super tan. She's quite fair. I imagine she self-tans as well. 
And then going on to her hot weather outfit. This is her hot weather outfit. Just something very basic. I don't have seasons, so this is what we are going for. For that, she probably won't use it until I do get seasons. And this is her cold weather outfit. This is super cute. I would wear something like this in real life. I, oh, She's just so bright and colourful. And again, she's got the rosy cheeks because of the cold. Okay, so that's Everly Strong. Now you've met her, let's just go ahead and go into the world and pick out a lot for her. Okay, so I'd quite like Everly to live in Willow Creek, just because I know Willow Creek, probably the best of all of the worlds. And she needs to live in a 50 by 50 lot. Um, right, I may have to bulldoze some of this and find a lot for her to move into. Okay, so I've moved Everly into the 50 by 50 lot in Willow Creek, right next to Spencer Kim Lewis. <laughs> so this is where she will be living. It's in the Sage Estates, Willow Creek's most desirable area. Sage Estates features large, sprawling estates, lush landscaping, and the best high society as has to offer. So... Everly moving here is a little bit of a change. She came and everything just got bulldozed. There is nothing in this field of land right now. So it'll be interesting to see how things go. Um, I wonder if her neighbours will be sort of judgmental about the fact that she doesn't have a big mansion like they do. Oh, this is really exciting, guys. Look how pretty she is in game. Oh, okay. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So she can only have 1,800 simoleons to begin with. So I'm going to go ahead and deduct that from her money. And then we're going to make her a little startup. I'm not even sure if we'll be able to make her a room to live in. She might have to do a little bit of outdoorsy stuff. Um... But that's okay, she loves the outdoors, so she's going to love this. Okay, so she's now got the 1,800 simoleons, so I'm going to go ahead and start by moving that mailbox over here where it belongs. Um, I also believe I've got my music completely turned down, so let's just higher that up a little bit. There we go. Okay, so... What are the essentials? She needs, I'm gonna buy the essentials and I'll try and make a room out of it. So she just needs a cheap bed. Um, this one gives stress relief. This one is uncomfortable. Do I wanna spend the extra money? Probably not. I'm gonna go with this one for now. What color does it come in? Maybe red. Yeah, red, red will do. So she's got her bed. She's going to need a toilet. Um, what about... I could get her a bush. <laughs> um, no, I'm just going to get her a basic toilet. There we go. A shower. Maybe I'll go for this one because it's got the little covering on it. Uh, what else does she need? She needs food. That's what she needs. Um... I swear there is like a little box type thing. Yes, here we go. The portable cooler. So I'm going to get her that. So sleep, toilet, shower, food. Maybe she needs some entertainment, perhaps. Um, what should I get her for entertainment, guys? What have we got in here? Hobbies and skills. Maybe I could get her that yoga mat. Maybe. Oh, I don't really know how to hire her fun without a TV. <laughs> um, okay, I'm going to buy her the yoga mat so that she can do some yoga. And then I'm going to try and build a room for her. Um, just so she has some privacy. Oh, God, look at that. Okay. Um... Maybe we'll just do the one wall for now. So there we go. Nice, beautiful. Um, her bed. The cooler can go next to her bed. Easy snacks. Um, this can just go here. Are there other colours for that? There are. Oh, I can make it match. 
might just do it in that colour. It matches her active wear. Okay, let's... Can I enclose this at all? Oh my god. Can I afford a door? Can I afford it? I can. <laughs> um, we'll do a gender neutral door. No, I'm going to do this door just because we can reuse it. Um, boom. What about paint? Can we afford paint? We can afford paint. Amen. Okay, so... Walls are pretty tall, actually. Oh no! <laughs> no! Oh god. Um. Maybe if we just. What is going on here? What is that? Oh, that's why. Okay. Maybe if we just do either side like that and then we come back to the end so this is her little her little home guys she's got a little bit of privacy for the toilet and shower she's probably gonna be quite uncomfortable showering in the dark but that's fine um yeah so this is a basic startup for her let's go ahead and press play actually i might just move her mailbox closer there we go just saves her having to walk so far to get to the mailbox but yeah let's have a little look I don't think I've ever been on this lot sort of living wise um but there's a little fishing area connected to her garden this cute little bridge another fishing area uh, I'm currently just looking for collectibles and plants potentially because I kind of want her to grow a rose farm. That's a really good way to get money. Oh, there she goes. There she goes. Nancy Landgrab just running around. What's this? An apple tree. Oh, collectible there. Nice. What's this? A lily flower. What is this? Okay, so let's open that up and then let's extract the fossil. Cool. So she got Trevor, Chaz, a fossilized sea monster, and a hilariously tiny T Rex arms. So usually I collect the My Sims trophies, but I'm going to sell them for now just so we've got a little bit of money. That's given us 175 simoleons. That's not too bad. There's another one over here. So she can go and collect that. And I might have her do some fishing as well. Um, yeah, it might take a moment for me to figure out where all of the collectibles are. Um, ooh. Turquoise. And again, usually I would send these off to the Geo Council. But right now, we need money. Because if our bills come in... Not that we have any electric or anything like that that we need to pay, but they've added the repo man now, so... <laughs> we do not want the repo man coming to repossess our small amount of belongings. What is this? A kitchen upgrade part. 90 simoleons! Cool! That's quite good, actually. The welcome wagon has started. Oh my god, I wonder who's here. Oh. Nobody's here. <laughs> <laughs> um, she can dig that up. Oh, frogs, 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 frogs. Oh, that's good. That's good. Okay, so there are collectibles here. It's just finding them. I guess that's the fun of it, though. So, ooh, Romantium. 150 simoleons. Oh, my God. Uh, Tiger frog. We're going to sell that as well. So we've almost earned 500 simoleons, guys. That is really good. I'm really shocked with myself right now. Um, okay. Maybe we should make her... Oh, she's already making friends. Look at our girl. Making friends with Mila, Munch, and Moira. Fire. She's part of the garden gnomes. Maybe we could join her club. Or maybe we could start a club. And it could be a rival club against hers. Ooh. Storyline. So I'm just going to have her speak to these 
guys. Um, I mean, Mila Munch's outfit, girl, that's not the cutest of outfits, is it? I mean, we might have to give you a makeover if you're going to be our friend, because again, Everly thinks very highly of herself, and even though she wants to start a modest lifestyle, she she still has a little bit of a mean girl in her, unfortunately. She is working on that. So maybe we should make friends with some boys. Who's this? Mauricio. Mauricio? I'm probably saying that wrong. Um, but let's introduce ourselves to them. We've got Marcus, 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 and B. Jean Bergeson. Okay, so let's say hello um, to them. Oh, he's coming over to us. Oh, <laughs> I mean, I don't think he would make cute babies with us. I love how that's how I judge who my sims are going to date. Um, but I'm I'm not sure on the rules on whether I can make spouses and like put them into the game and then she can get to know them or not. Um, but we'll have to see. Who's this? Johnny Weinstein. We won't be taking his last name if we were to marry him. Um, but again, Everly isn't interested in boys as such. She doesn't want a husband. She doesn't want a boyfriend. She might have a few hookups when she goes on a night out, but she she is not interested. But yeah, I might just have her do a little bit more fishing. See if we can get some more simoleons going. Um... But yeah, I think this is going to go really well, actually. Um, the lifespan is set to normal guys as well. So she's got 22 days until she is a young adult, which is good. Um, she caught a new fish. Can she speak to her? Who's this? She's kind of cute. Britta Stahl. Maybe she can come and say hello. Oh, she's catching loads of fish. Oh my god. Okay, so let's just sell those straight up. And oh my god, she's actually earning quite a lot of money. She's quite good at fishing. Um, so she, for her aspiration, she needs to plant something three times, weed or water plants ten times, which that will be made easier when we can get a rose farm. <laughs> I don't, the thing is, I don't really grow other things because it's just so much easier to grow roses. They sell for so much money. Um, I might do snapdragons. Almost at 600 simoleons, guys. Oh my god. Um, this is actually quite a good fishing spot. Usually by now I have like the, um, the pop-up that says that she couldn't find any more fish. Um, but I never really experiment with the fishing skill, to be honest, just because I've never found it that useful. But I maybe we could make it a goal to get a cow plant. That would be quite fun, wouldn't it? So I'm going to have her stop fishing now and go and harvest that snapdragon real quick. And maybe we can plant some snapdragons and start our gardening skill off. Okay, so she got one of those, so let's go and have her just have a quick meal of yogurt. Why am I saying yogurt? I'm British. Yogurt. And we'll put this, where should we start our farm? Maybe here. And she can just go and plant that there. She could probably buy some seeds at this point. That would be quite good. There we go, lovely. And if she just waters that as well. And she's starting to get a little bit tired, so <laughs> self woohoo. Um, I'm gonna have her go to sleep then until the morning. So she has made some friends, which is pretty good. She's actually got quite a few friends. The welcome wagon, which is her neighbors, they don't like Everly. Um, as I said, it's probably because they all they can see from their house is this, and they probably think she is scum, which. It's disappointing, but she will prove them wrong in the end, guys. What's wrong with her? She's hungry and she needs a shower, so let's have her take a shower. Oh, God, girl, you stink! You stink! 
Okay, so she's just hopped in the shower. Um, how's this Snapdragon coming? Quality normal. Nice. Okay, so yeah, we'll start like a Snapdragon farm. I might buy some seeds with our money actually and invest in a farm. Um, I'm going to have her come and dig these collectibles up as well. Um, just so we can carry on earning money. I want to try and reach 1,000 simoleons before the end of this episode. And yeah, oh, there's like a little frog thing there. Another collectible there. What else is there? I know there was some on like that beach area. Oh, is that Marcus? Oh, hi Marcus. Hello, how are you doing? Um, here we go. Lovely. Um, another collectible there. Is that it? Is that all of the collectibles? She can... Oh, the key was full. Let's fast forward a little bit. Um, let's harvest those. Again, I'm just going to harvest the land. Yeah, cool. She's got the introvert achievement. I swear it hasn't been 24 hours. Okay. So... So she's got quite a lot of basil. I'm going to sell that, sell that. I'm going to sell the treasure map. I never look for treasure, guys. I just cannot be bothered. We need to get a trash can, actually. Trash can, rubbish bin. Um, ooh, ooh, what were they? Lilies. Lilies sell for quite a lot. Maybe we should make a lily farm. Huh, a lily farm. Okay, I'm going to plant some of those. Um, how many should we plant though? Maybe we should plant like... This many? That many? Maybe we should make a second line of them. Just because our money will multiply by doing this. Lovely. Okay, so I'm going to sell those. Um, she's got some more snapdragons. So let's just plant the snapdragons as well. Um, there we go. Lovely. So we're going to be well on our way to making our millions. Fantastic. Okay, so let's sell those. Strawberries I'm not going to bother with. We might make like... Um, you can make a different fruit. I can't remember what it's called by grafting them with snapdragons but we're not going to do that today let's breed those two together sell these froggos fantastic sell that sell that what's this onions sell those and then we can extract this fossil Ooh, 225 simoleons and 175 for that Oh my god, guys, that was really successful, actually. What are these? There's more lilies there. Oh my god. And there's like a hole there. So she can dig that. Harvest those. Um, we're grinding, guys. We are grinding. We can harvest those as well. She's doing so well. Oh my god. This is going better than expected. Oh, she caught another fish as well fantastic look at all this money okay so we can definitely afford to upgrade her little house now guys so i'm gonna have her quickly come and plant all of these um is she tired oh she's hungry and her social is going down she needs to invite over a friend um but yeah, I'm just going to have her quickly plant all of these and then water all of them. Um, yeah, so she can do that and then we'll have a quick bite to eat. And then we will upgrade her house a little bit. Oh my god, 2,807 simoleons in the first episode, guys. This is going extremely well. What is happening right now? Um, Raw, it's bear night at the bar. Want to hang out? Oh, you know what? Should we go? Her social needs to go. Like, her social needs to go up. You know what? 
We're going to the par, par, bar, guys. She is going to the bar. She needs to make more friends. She needs to fix her social, so might as well. And we don't really want to decline invitations on our second day living here. So, and she has got a little bit of money, so she should enjoy herself a little bit, have a little drinky drink. Um, let's say hello. Let's, let's... We're not going to ask for money. Let's do an impression. Um, let's share some photos. And no, not go away. <laughs> no. Let's. Um, maybe she could lie about her career a little bit because, you know, she, again, she's very self assured. And people, she wants people to think, you know, that she is living a certain way. Um, she's quite embarrassed by her home right now as well. Um, but. At the end of the day, she's doing this for herself. Who is that at the bar, guys? He is low-key, kind of attractive in a weird kind of way. Maybe we should go and friendly introduce ourselves to this guy. Yeah. Oh, cute. Let's fast forward a little bit. She's a, she's really... Oh, my God, there's so many bears. What is going on right now? <laughs> um... Oh, she's speaking to a bear. Okay, can we can we order food? Can we really not order food? I thought you could order food at bars. That is not annoying at all. But she's she's having some good conversations. Let's ask about day. Let's ask him about his day. Should we complain about our acne? <laughs> Let's discuss local fishing spots. Um, yeah, this is going quite well. Everly Strong has identified the tuna, a new type of fish reported in... <laughs> okay. Oh, the bar guys come, came and talked to us. Ah, okay, maybe we could woohoo with him. He's, like, giving her the side eye. He's, like, back off my woman. <laughs> back off my woman. <laughs> and she's just, like... Why is there a bear at my table? <laughs> what is this town? Why am I here? Um, <laughs> that's really funny, actually. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to have her head home rather soon because she is getting very hungry and she's getting tired as well. But she made some new friends. Who's this? Let's introduce ourselves to her as well. Just going to, you know, leave the table right now. Goodbye. Um, yeah. Oh, she looks so angry. Oh, my God. Okay, I'm going to have her go home. This sim cannot go home right now. Oh, have I seriously got to wait? No, I'm ending this early. She's going home. Unbearable from nearby bear. Near, near boy? Nearby bear. No sim likes being around deadly animals. <laughs> I think she's just freaked out. She's like, oh, hell nah, I'm out of here. I don't deal with that. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have her sleep. I'm going to then customize the house a little bit and then we will end this episode, guys. Oh, she can quickly finish planting these, actually. Um, if we can do it without her getting too uncomfortable. And then... Oh my god! Oh! <gasps> She got abducted. No, that has never happened to me before, guys. What is happening? No, this has taken a bad turn, guys. No. Oh, my God. Why? <laughs> of course. Of course this would happen. Of course. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Oh, poor girl. Poor Everly. Nobody to share the smile with without someone to share it with everybody's playful fun will fade away Aww. oh here she comes here she is okay Z zapped and jolted from being abducted whatever those aliens did really messes with the head and she's hungry okay I swear to god I don't know if it's the same as sims 3 or whatever if she's pregnant from that I am going to be very angry <laughs> I 
I do not want my girl to be pregnant right now. We do not need a baby to look after. Not only that, babies in The Sims 4 are so annoying. Um, right, let's water those quickly, girl. Come on, I know you can do this. And then she can have some granola. I can't believe she got abducted. What is going on? <laughs> there we go. She completed the first part of her um, aspiration. Oh my god, it's daytime already. Okay, she needs a toilet as well. Oh, what's this? Dark circles. She really needs to get some sleep. Oh my god, girl. Look at her face. Oh my god. What is... Poor Everly. <laughs> Poor Everly. Right, let's send her to sleep. And then when she wakes up properly, I will edit her home. And then move on to the next episode. Oh my god. Hey, Everly, we'd like to have you join the avant-garde. What do you think? Uh, no thank you. Okay. So, let's just move everything out of the way. So, this is what we've got going on, guys. Uh, maybe we can make it a little bit bigger. Okay. So we've got like a little square going on now. So she can have all of her stuff in one room, which is great. Um, boo, yeah. Okay, maybe I should move everything a little bit forward. So we could do with maybe adding some windows. I'm probably just gonna move stuff around a little bit in here. Just have it like that. Yeah, there we go. Okay, now let's add, let's move the door. Oh, can I not move it then? Oh, because I put the bed there, didn't I? Uh, of course. Okay. Oh, this is not the most hygienic of things, is it? Um, <laughs> I really don't want her to be sleeping next to the toilet. Okay, there we go. The cooler can just go right next to her bed. Let's add some windows. Uh, we'll just add like these windows for now for some natural light. Boom. Cute, 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 cute. Okay. We'll add one, two there and then just another one on this side. Nice, okay. Right. Let's add some furnishings. So for the inside, um, I have got this custom content stuff. This is quite nice. Maybe, maybe just like a gray, something neutral for now. And then some floor. Uh, probably I'm gonna go with wooden just take that off real quick it's quite nice there we go sorted oh oh that could be an issue <laughs> um there we go okay uh what else can we do we need to add a roof definitely uh how are we gonna do this should we just do it like this just literally the most basic of roofs you have ever seen. Sorted. There we go. And then maybe the roof colour can be this one. Um, the roof trim. What about in black? Yeah, there we go. Okay. We are getting there, guys. Slowly but surely. She needs a trash can as well um just do some floor terrain uh do, 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 do. there we go very nice okay we're getting there look oh my god i'm so proud right now uh maybe we can change the door to red 
Should we change the window colours as well to brown? I feel like that makes a difference. Not that this, you know, needs to look that great, but this is just for aesthetics. Okay. So in terms of fun, should we buy her something that she can like have fun with? How much is a computer? 800 simoleons. Oh my god. Do you think it's too soon to buy a computer? Um, that's like 300. Okay. I'm gonna try and buy her a computer, I think. Um, okay, there we go. And maybe we'll just put a rug in here as well. Oh, a light. She needs lights. Oh, no. This is not good. Um, okay. Let's just get this round light like that. And then maybe just a rug or something. Just to pretty up the area a little bit. Um, that's too big. What's this? Oh. Let me put BB move objects on. Okay. Um, that's quite a nice rug. What about, I swear there was another rug that I love. Um, let's do this one. In red. Cute. Beautiful. Look at that. Fantastic. Lovely. And there we go, guys. So she's got quite a little setup now. I bet she feels really proud of herself. Look at this. Let's have her go inside and just see her new little home. Ah, this is cute. Okay, guys. So I'm going to wrap up this episode here. Um, I hope that you enjoyed the first episode of this series and yeah don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed this and uh stay tuned for episode two um yeah <laughs> i'm actually really excited to see how far this goes i think she's gonna be really successful and i would like her to woohoo with somebody and i have got the risky woohoo mod installed so she might have an accidental baby um but yeah i'm gonna create some townies as well and put those into the town i've just got to read up on the whole spouses thing let me know in the comments down below um how that works because i would like to make her a spouse and then have her sort of make a relationship with them just because most townies let's be honest are quite fugly uh <laughs> But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, go follow my socials. They're all in the description down below. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.